What's going on everybody? My name is David Shea with Active IT Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to connect to your computer remotely through Log Me In Continuum Edition. <laughs> Okay, so jumping right in, the first thing I want to do is make sure that you guys understand that Log Me In Continuum Edition is not the same thing as Log Me In. It's the same service, it's the same product, but the way you go about getting into it is completely different, and that's the entire reason why I'm making this video. So you would not go to logmein.com. Instead, what you would do is you would go to itsupport247.net, like you see up here. So I suggest going to this, bookmarking it, saving it, writing it down. However, if you forget, you lose your bookmarks, you can't remember, you can rewatch this video, or another easy way to find this sign-in portal is to simply go to our website, activeitsolutions.com, go to the top right under client support, click on that, and then under links, you'll see access your computer from home. You can really access it anywhere, that's just what I'm calling it. So if you click on active or access this computer from home, it takes you to this very same place. So you got a couple different options how you could get here. But again, do not go to logmein.com. Go to IT support 247.net. Okay, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign in with your email address that uh, you gave us and the password that e we emailed back to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with a user's account. I think that's it. And it takes us to our sign-in page where it'll give us the list of our computers. Uh, depending on your permissions, you may see one or more computers. You can see, you could select if there's any servers available, which there's not in this case because it's a demo, or just desktops or desktop singular, depending on, on what. Okay, so anyways, once you sign in, the next step to remoting in is you're gonna see a couple options under option. You're want to, going to want to click on the first one here to where a little bubble says click to access your computer. So we're going to click that and it's going to ask you for another password. This password right here is going to be the password for getting into the actual computer itself. So this password right here will be the same thing as when you are sitting in front of your computer. You go to your office, you sit down, and it asks for your username and your password. So it's very, very important that you actually pay attention to the username on your computer. You'd be surprised how many people, they have no idea what their username is. They just go and they sit down. They, have, they don't pay attention to their username and they just put their password in and rock and roll. So pay attention to that. When you get to your computer, type in your actual username, the same as when you're at the sign-in. In this case, do David Shea and the password. Cool. So this is the back end area. I'll briefly go over the features that are here. Um, this is the same console that we use to um, to do a lot of diagnostics and back end work. You know, we can see a general event viewer and errors. We can see the disk space. We could see the network traffic. We could get a basic overview of the specs and the stats and the performance. How much memory is being used. On the left here, we have remote control, which I'll get over, go over in a second. We have file manager, file sharing. Uh, file manager is uh, where you can actually share files in between the computer you're currently on and the existing computer. So if you have a file and you actually want to transfer it to your remote computer, you could do it through file manager. Um, and then it's got a bunch of other things that you really don't need to worry about. So again, back to our overall purpose of this video. Your next step, once you're at this place, is to click on remote control. So we'll click on remote control. At this point, if this is your first time doing it, it's going to ask you to install the LogMeIn application. Just go through the motions, install it. See, it's even popping up here and, and giving you some instructions on how to go about this. I already got it installed, so I'm just going to launch the application. And we're in. So once you get to this point, you'll notice that there's this cool little box here that says login because you already signed in with your actual computer's username and password. You don't need to type it in again. So you just hit login down here and it's going to bring you right into your system and you're ready to go. Um, if you have dual monitor set up, you can switch through the monitors by clicking on this button up here. 
and you'll be able to switch from monitor one to monitor two. Uh, if you wanted to go full screen, you just click over here and it'll bring this to full screen. You have volume options to where you could actually hear the volume of what that computer that you're remoting into is doing. So if you watched a YouTube video for some reason remotely, um, you can actually, you know, hear the sound. If you need to do control alt delete, let's say that you're at that login screen and your computer is part of a domain and it's asking you to hit control alt delete, you'll notice that if you hit control alt delete on your keyboard, it's going to bring up your actual computer's control alt delete, not the computer you're remoting into. So at the top here, you'll see this little three buttons. So if I hit control alt delete up here, these three buttons, this is how you would get that so you can sign in or if you need to do the task manager or whatever. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, I'd appreciate it if, uh, if this was helpful, if you could like the video. If you have questions, comment below and I'm more than happy to uh, get back to you as soon as possible on those. Thanks again, guys.